When sponsors look at RCR, they look at buying into a brand. My name's Austin Dillon. I'm the driver of number three Advocare Nationwide Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. When you buy into a brand at RCR, it's, it's you know you're getting hardworking people that are going to make sure they get the job done for you, and, and that's what my grandfather's always is preached: is you know, work hard and, and make sure you uh, always are loyal to y your people. And he's a very loyal person, and that's something that you always be able to say about Richard Childress is his loyalty is there. Just great people. No one does this type of thing on their own. It takes a lot of support from a lot of people. I'm Richard Childress. The guy is unbelievable hard worker. He never quits. He, uh, I don't think he sleeps. And uh, for me, he's one of my heroes just because of the fact that he eats, sleep, and breathes RCR, his company. And he, he makes sure that um, he will do whatever it takes to make sure they're successful. It's really been you know, nothing different than probably a real grandson, grandfather relationship. He's, he's always been there for us. And um, even though he lives this busy lifestyle, we've always been able to spend plenty of time with our grandfather. And we still have that grandfather relationship, even though now that he's our owner, and our boss, man, he's still our grandfather. Hi, I'm Ty Dillon, um, driver of the Bass Pro Shops number three Chevy Silverado in the NASCAR Camper World Truck Series, and I'm also the grandson of Richard Childress. Just hard work and determination. Um, he is still today, you know, the hardest working man I've ever known. Hi, I'm Mike Dillon, Vice President of Competition at Richard Childress Racing, and I am Richard and Judy Childress's son-in-law. Well, I think it's a great family business because it started with our family. Hi, I'm Judy Childress, Richard Childress's wife. It's really special to me because I know how Richard, how he's grown it and where it came from. I got started as a kid going to Bowman Gray Stadium, uh, selling peanuts and popcorn. He started selling peanuts at Bowman Gray Stadium and uh, got enough money to buy an old taxi cab. From his story, you know, it comes from a, a, a taxi cab, you know. Um, hard work and you know selling peanuts from at Bowman Gray Stadium getting enough money together to to get his first race car took a little bit of money he had and bought his first race car and went racing started racing paid twenty dollars for it and with hard work and, and people believing in him and him believing in himself and never giving up he, he was able to, to grow his name and grow his eventually his company he put everything into it and still continues to do that today and uh, I like to tell people from there, the rest of it's history. A lot has happened through RCR. We have over 500 employees and about nine race teams, so it's a pretty busy business. One of the greatest NASCAR companies there's ever been and, and one of the greatest owners there's ever been and a future Hall of Famer. It was the uh, best $20 investment I've ever made. I think everybody knows that it is a family-run business, but everybody there is a part of a family. Richard cares about the people. He cares about each and every one of the employees. I think as soon as you, you become an RCR employee, you become part of the family. You're so close with your employees and everybody there, you feel like you're a family because you travel so much. Sometimes you spend more time in a week with your team and team members than you get to spend with your family. Even as big as we are today, we still entertain the idea of getting the families together. The whole atmosphere in racing feels like family. Even you race against these uh, other teams and other people, but you all feel like one large family. We work hard because we're out here in Lexington, North Carolina, um, away from Mooresville, where all the race teams usually are, and, and we're trying to, to beat the competition that's out there. And without everybody working together and putting their minds to, to one common goal, it wouldn't be possible. So it is a family. You know, my family supported me even in the tough times, and. Uh, so it's, I'm, I'm just feel good about today that being able to help them back. You know, the boys started off playing stick and ball sports and we all went to all the games and went to everything that you're involved with, just like most parents do. And then uh, they got into the family business and started racing. It's huge, you know, because now that we're racing for RCR, we're drivers for the company. You know, we're winning for our family. We're racing for our family. And not only our immediate family, you know, our mom and dad, our grandfather and grandma, but you know, all of RCR is a family to us and, and it means a lot more when we can keep it in the family between me and my brother and win races and, and do it for my grandfather and for all the company. You eat, you sleep, you, you breathe uh, racing. And uh, that's what RCR means to me is, you know, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's not only um, uh, a business, but it's, it's a part of every employee over there fighting for one common goal and that's to, to win races and, and to make sure that uh, 
we're um, we're a steady company that that stays around for a long time. Twenty years from now, you know, I can I hope that you know we're still the top one of the top teams in NASCAR. It's sort of up to them. I've never pushed them into doing anything, and I leave it to their option. Uh, I'd like to see them carrying on with a business. I'd like to see them both be successful at whatever they want to do. Right now, they're pursuing the driving. We just want to keep working hard and carry on that legacy that my grandfather's uh, created. Being part of the family and, and the family aspect of, of our company and our sport, um, there's nothing better. Well, our plan is to is to win more championships and and keep RCR on top. Not only has he made his company better, but he's made um, a lot of things in North Carolina better and, and a lot of people also. It's quite an honor for our whole family to receive this uh, award. It's very special, especially with the other great companies that's in our area for us to be able to receive this. He loves it and he lives it. That is his life. That is our life. It always has been.